I grew up in a rural community just like all of you here. I have uh, affinity for rural communities, the simplicity, the easy life. Uh, everybody know each other, everybody lives side by side as friends, neighbors. Uh, no one sees each other through the racial lens. I mean, I grew up in that community. My godmother was an Afro-Guyanese. Uh, she was our, our neighbor. She had eight kids and she adopted me as one of hers. So when my father don't come home in time to cook, I used to live with my father. Um, I would go over there and eat. What I feel is the problem in this community and all across Guyana is the failure to create value as, as the young lady there talk about what plans we have to create value. That the first thing we'll do, we will build a port facility here. We will have private sector interests or a private public partnership because unless Londoners have a stake in their own region, you are not getting anywhere. It affects employment, it affects wealth creation, it affects you and your family. So we will ensure that all this lumber here has to pass through there. So creating many jobs and have a port that, that is paid for by those lumber dealers. So you have to have barges to take it to Georgetown wherever you want it or to bring a, a big vessel so that the loading is done here. The second thing we will do, we will ensure that we take $5 a ton bauxite and that will raise 7.5 million US dollars. That money will be spent right here, Kokwani, New Amsterdam, the areas affected by the decline of bauxite. And your roads will be built. We, will, we said the other day we'll have an entrepreneurial fund that any promising startup in any rural communities will have support to start their business, to develop the business until they reach a certain level. And we'll have that economic zone that Nigel talked about where you will be taught to, to your skill in wood processing and making doors and all these kind of things to create value. Because unless you create value from your resources, you're going nowhere. The bauxite will run out someday. All the gold and diamond will run out someday. But the opportunity you take to create value and build communities and diversify and to get into agriculture and all those things, you build wealth. And that's what will sustain this region.